Imagine if Congress passed a law that you actually wanted it to pass. Like, say, one that dramatically lowered your taxes, balanced the budget, and paid off the national debt, while still providing everyone with a basic income, paying for college, and all of your health care. But a law that would do all that is a fantasy, right? Actually, it isn't. Here's why. Did you know that our current tax system is based on a 19th century economy? It's true. That's why it doesn't work for a 21st century America. Why there's never enough money for what we want to get done, both as a country and as individuals. Truth is, if our tax system reflected the way the economy works now, we wouldn't pay income taxes at all. And we'd still have more than enough money to pay for everything I just mentioned and more. That's exactly what a nonpartisan bill called the Financial Freedom Act would do. It would bring us out of the 19th century and into the 21st. The Financial Freedom Act would truly tax economic activity, like the financial activity that occurs between huge financial institutions, that would not only make the system fair for everyone, it would balance the budget too. It's based on a payments tax, and it would not only replace the income tax, it would provide a universal basic income to every adult. Around $24,000 a year. Give free rides to anyone who wants a reasonably priced college education. Give everyone a monthly benefit to pay for basic health care. Provide a true retirement income of $30,000 per year to everyone over 70, while eliminating FICA taxes. And it would create a banking 2.0 system that would help fund startups and cut the costs of mortgages. All this is possible because the money-changing hands as the ultra-wealthy play financial games dwarfs the material economy. According to the Federal Reserve, $5 quadrillion, that's $5,000 trillion, changes hands in our economy every year. By contrast, we collectively earn $16 trillion. When we tax income, we're taxing a pot of money that's 300 times smaller than the total economy. That's why income tax rates are so high where with a payments tax of two-tenths of a percent on each transaction, your rate would be so low. How low? For someone earning $30,000 a year, instead of paying $6,000 in taxes like you do today, you'd pay sixty. dollars If you earned $100,000, instead of paying $30,000, you'd pay two hundred. dollars Plus, you'd get $24,000 per year in basic income, free health care, and free college. That's what will happen when Congress passes the Financial Freedom Act. Think it sounds too good to be true? Visit thefinancialfreedomact.com, learn how it works, and see for yourself what's possible.